Hello, grumpy old fart here. Um, I, uh, I do a lot of videos on UFOs because a while back the Navy announced that UFOs are indeed real. Um, I did one, um, one half of one video on Bigfoot because I, I do love a good Bigfoot story. I like Bigfoot programs on TV, you know. Um, I like stories about mythology and things like that. And along those lines, I do enjoy good ghost programs. Hard to find a really good ghost program these days. Uh, if you're into paranormal and things like that, you probably are into ghost hunting, ghost hunters, that kind of thing. I believe there is a program called Ghost Hunters. I do not watch it. But there's a couple of good ones that we do watch and we do and we do highly recommend. The first one, um, uh, before, I, before I go into that, we're, we're kind of particular about what we watch because uh, there's nothing so annoying as someone who's making a joke about something you find interesting. And when they when they when they investigate in an asinine way or when they're when they present evidence that they can't prove or they 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 make the whole ooh, did you see that? Well no we didn't. The camera was pointed over there. Or did you hear that? No, we didn't hear anything. Well, let me rerun the audio for you. Really? Because you could have recorded that before, you know, that kind of thing. There's things that you know uh, there's things that 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 uh people can fake in a ghost hunting program the, the cabinet door swinging open slowly well that that's easily faked a door slamming shut that's easily faked they have wires and they paint the wire there's a color of blue i, it's a, I want to say it's a matte blue but it's it, there's a color of blue that doesn't show up on camera and you string the and use it to slam the door you know little wires or whatever there's ways to fake stuff and I'm not saying any of these people are faking it, but there's ways to fake it. And if there is a way to fake it, you can't prove it's real. It's like uh, it's like UFO videos. Nowadays, everybody with a laptop can make a fake vi uh, UFO video. You, it's hard to tell they're real, you know, if they're real or not. Go back to this. There was, I talked about this. Uh, there's a, a, a program called uh, UFO, the, the True Story of Flying Saucers, made back in the 50s, and. If you've seen Hollywood movies back then of flying saucers and stuff, you can tell what's fake and what's real about those. And if these people who are making the UFO videos in that film are faking it, they had much better equipment than Hollywood did. That's all I'm saying. Back to this topic. Um, there's two programs that my wife and my son and I really, really enjoy because we find them more credible than the others. Um, the first is The Dead Files. Uh, the Dead Files, has, has there's only three people in it, <laughs> three, three stars, and one of them is a cameraman, okay? Uh, Amy Allen, she plays a, she's a medium, a, a apparently well-renowned uh, well, uh, medium, I should say. Not well-versed, but anyway. My point is, people know she's a medium, and she's a real medium, and she goes... She's the one who conducts the nighttime investigations with the cameraman. There's another man named Steve Deshabi, and he, I'm, I hope I'm saying his name properly because he does deserve it. He's a good man. <clears throat> He's a retired New York City homicide detective. So the way they do this is the, the cameraman and Amy Allen go in at night and they, she does a walkthrough and she's selling what she sees as a medium. Steve Deshabi goes in during the day and he questions the people in the house and then he goes out and he investigates the, the history of the property and blah 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 <clears throat> and at the end they meet and then they discuss okay and they they have some pretty pretty interesting episodes um to me that's more credible than the, the some of the other things that they have it's a lot more entertaining that's for sure because when you when you're when she has a walkthrough and he now I'm, I'm not saying this can't be faked but they're they're more believable they're more credible in my opinion they're just because they don't they don't act like actors you know what I'm saying they're more they're more believable and they're not you know a team down the block with cameras ooh this will get ghosts you know none of that stuff um the other, um, and, and I had a hard time finding exactly who these people are, what their what their program is called. It's 
far as I can tell, it's called Haunted, yeah, Haunted Saginaw. Um, it takes place in Saginaw, Michigan, as far as I can tell, in various locations. And the director is Stephen Shippey. He has a nickname, Prozac. Now, when I first started watching it, some of their accents really threw me. Because they don't sound like people who would be interested in ghosts. You know, the paranormal. But then I got to thinking, well, Steve Deshabi, he was raised, as, as I understand it, raised in, in New York or New Jersey. And his accent is not even close to theirs. Uh, as I understand it, Amy Allen is from Denver. And their accents are about as, as far apart as you can get. So, we started watching some of and this haunted Saginaw is actually pretty good. They do long investigations. Their camera work, they'll set up a camera and they'll show you what what they see. And some of their stuff, I mean, a lot of their stuff can be faked. Let's, let's not mince words. A lot of their stuff can be faked, like I was saying before. Some of their stuff is pretty, uh, if it's faked, it's really well done. It's pretty convincing. <laughs> okay. That's all I'm saying. There's one person in this in this program that I don't like. Everybody else is, in my opinion, top notch. They're they, they they're like normal people looking for ghosts, and they're they, they don't they don't seem like actors. They're not out. They're obviously they want to make money, but you know because everybody does. But they're not out there hamming it up. You know what I'm saying? They're not out there acting a fool or whatever. These people actually take their investigation, in my opinion, they take their investigation seriously. Um, like I said, there's one guy that I don't like, and he used to be with a different group. And when he when he came in to do this, he I, I, he tries to come across as a, I don't know, like a, an expert. But he doesn't strike me as much of an expert. That's But that's the only bad part about this whole thing. Uh... Other than that, Haunted Saginaw is absolutely wonderful. I love it. I really, really love watching those. Uh, they've got a number of full-length movies out. Uh, you can get them, go to their website, and they're, they're really good. So those are the two that we enjoy as far as ghost hunting, paranormal programs. I'm thinking about doing some stuff as far as UFOs and things like that with this, but uh, I, I, lately my wife and family, my, my wife and son and I have been watching a lot of the Dead Files on YouTube. And some of their, because uh, you know, it's free, <laughs> some of their, uh, uh, qu the quality of the video there isn't that great. So, you know, be prepared for that. But the, the, the programming and the, the substance of the video is spot on. And again, if you can see this Haunted Saginaw, check that out too, because they're quite good. Alright? Um, so if you enjoy ghosts, those are your two. Folks, have a good day. God bless one and all.